Sarah asks, is it possible to create further Teams accounts so that you can have more than two meetings running? Yes. <laughs> it's a hack, though, right? How many of us are multitasking in meetings? Are, I mean, I, I multitask, but I don't know that I'm in two meetings at the same time. I'm definitely involved in chats, but Christian, I think you had a fabulous idea for that one. Well, I, so one, I mean, I, so I do this all the time where I yeah. have I, you know, overlapping and one of them that I need to, uh, you know, do a, like I'll actually have if the if transcripts are running and kind of watch the dialogue while I'm listening in. So I know it's an effective use of my time, of everybody's time to do that. <laughs> but there was just an overlap where a uh, new meeting was starting and the other one hadn't ended, but I, so I needed to join and, you know, but I was still kind of paying attention. And so having the desktop version of Teams and then joining the other one in the browser, you could have two multiple, I can, you can actually, like we talked about, you could create different profiles where you go in and join or even start those where you can use incognito mode and have different ones running. But you can, uh, you don't need us to have a second profile to join multiple overlapping meetings. You can do that via incognito. And so it's just a matter of when you join the first meeting in the in the browser or, or in the desktop app, and the second one, just have it go directly to browser and that's it. Yeah, the only thing you have to be careful of is you can only have your your video and your mic right. active in one meeting at a time, so you can't like switch back and forth. Um, so yeah, so you're going to be stalking point. one, stalking one, and participating in the others. So you got to pick which one you want to participate in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't switch well. I tried that. <laughs> yeah, even if you had two different profiles. Um, like if you had a laptop in your desktop or something and, you know, you could log in with the same profile and, and both of those things. And in that case, you'd have two cameras, two microphones with two separate devices to do that. But yeah, to your point. I have camera. gotten a little notification that says you're active in this other meeting. Do you want to switch? So it does recognize that you're logging into two meetings at the same time. Um, so I'll be on something on my phone and something else on my computer and they'll be like, do you want to switch devices? Or like I'll I'll start it um, in the meeting because I'm somewhere on my phone. Then I get home and I turn on my desktop and it knows that I've logged in in another device. So I think you just say no. You know, like I'm good. I'm stalking in two places. <laughs> but that's the same meeting. Actually, that'd be the same meeting, not different meetings. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's a little bit different. Yeah. But yeah, so I I I don't do it frequently, but I do join occasionally. I think I did earlier this month where, again, in that for me, the scenario was the meetings overlapped. So I joined one with my camera and mic off while I was wrapping up the other one uh, for about 10 minutes or so. Like, so it works. <laughs> Not recommended, but it works. The ultimate multitasking, multi-meeting tasking. <laughs> multitasking is a lie, everyone. <laughs> It doesn't, <laughs> you know, you, man cannot serve two masters, you know. <laughs>